G'day, this is Josh from Sydney, Australia. Um, just want to um, give a little bit of a, um, a thanks um, to the guys, guys across the Tasman at Mahoe Sawmills. Um, I recently purchased uh, a super mill here um, and it's, um, it's just been fantastic, incredible build quality, um, incredible power um, and it really just it makes my life um, so easy um, and just incredibly efficient mill. Um, it was about, I've been, sort of been running it for a couple of months now um, and just every day it just becomes, you know, more and more enjoyable as you sort of get to know the machine a bit more. Um, a couple of the features I went with here, the, um, the hydraulic log dogs here, I don't know if you can see there, they, uh, they clamp in place the log, clamp the log in place there, and you can also move the log around. So I've sort of found that setting up and, and loading a log um, takes probably 20% of the time that it would have before um, because of these because of these awesome log dogs. Um, I went for the uh, the 300 by 250 option, so the extra 50. Um, at first, the boys were sort of hesitant to to say it, to recommend it, um, you know, as I was cutting Aussie hardwood. But um, I'm literally this log here. I'm going to be cutting a 250 by 250. So, so doing the full 250 cut and the horizontal 250 cut just eats it. There's no issues whatsoever. Um, just running it slowly over the Aussie hardwood. This is I'm actually cutting iron bark here at the moment, which is one of the hardest Aussie timbers to cut. And it, um, it just does everything with ease. Um, if anything, you just slow the speed down and, and the cut, um, it just cuts it beautifully. It's, if you run it slow as well, it, it's, you know, the, the saw marks are, are barely visible. If you run it fast, obviously it goes a bit rougher, but um, everything has just been incredible quality. Um, it's just not often that you kind of get a product that has so much thought and um, and quality put into it. There's no corners cut here. It's an excellent, excellently designed machine. Um, you know, as you start to use the machine, you realise the little intricacies and little things that were put that were um, that were designed and people have put thought into. Um, so just so incredibly happy with this awesome machine. Um, awesome product uh it's yeah that's the time um the time i save um just the effort it's um it's fantastic it even saves your back with um you know the return there this little tab that when you're cutting it just flicks back and and when you return the machine um it returns the timber with it and it'll it'll return a 250 by 250 no problem i haven't found anything that doesn't return um and uh, it's just a quality Kubota engine, um, solid as. The cut to taper facility is, um, I don't know, I could go without it now. Um, just the having the ability at the middle of a log just to be able to taper a cut out. You know, it, 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 what I found is even though these blades are, are thicker, you know, that's a seven, probably about a seven mil blade. Um, it's quite a thick blade. I found the recovery is, is better than say, you know, a normal, you know, I may, maybe if you're using, using a thinner blade, even a, a five mil blade, you'd think, oh, you get a bit more recovery with it. It's not true. Um, even with a thicker blade, you need to bring bigger cuts in it. You get better recovery because of the taper to cut. Um, you're able to, to get out usable timber from, um, from the log that you just wouldn't be able to otherwise. If you just center the log and you don't have that facility, you can't, you can't, um, you know, pull that end out there and, and have the ability to, um, to, to get, to get bits of recovery there. So it's just excellent. I found, um, the wastage has gone way down. Um, the ability just to rise and fall hydraulically, but spot simply, you know, fl flicking that up and down means, you know, you drop to cut and you, instead of cutting a big flitch out, you're able to, to rise the cut. Um, you know, take off a, a smaller flitch, go back down and then maybe maybe retrieve 100 by 50 or 100 by 100, whatever you want. Um, it means less wastage as well. So 
Um, having the ability to, to rise and fall so rapidly is, is an incredibly uh, valuable feature. Um, the insert tips here, um, fantastic. I haven't, I have hit nails, but I, it, uh, it hasn't ruined the blades enough yet to, to replace them. But the sharpening system is, is just awesome. It's got heaps of power, the sharpener. Um, sometimes the other machines, the, that I've had in the past that the sharpener can just take forever to just to get through the tungsten teeth. I don't think these are tungsten, but these are something else, but the, the sharpener makes quick work of sharpening them up. Um, if anything, you just have to keep an eye that you don't sharpen it too quickly because it just does an excellent job cutting it and um, doing it super sharp. Um, I could go on and on about the machine, but a big thank you to, uh, to, to Ben and the boys over, over in New Zealand. Um, yeah. You Kiwis never uh, never disappoint. Um, you definitely pack above your punch, so much appreciated. And um, incredible product. Couldn't recommend it highly enough. Um, yeah, it's worth the wait for sure. Um, it's just a quality product. And knowing the quality of, of Mahoe, it just, you know, even thinking about firewood processes and, and other things in the future, I'd, I don't know, I could go past the Mahoe just because um, just because of the quality when you just see every bit of, um, every component of the machine has has really, no corners have been cut. It's just incredible. I, I, it's rare to see products that are built that way anymore. So once again, thank you boys and uh, very happy, um, very happy with everything. And um, to anyone who's thinking about getting the Mahoe Super Mill or um, any Mahoe product I can't recommend highly enough. Um, yeah, they didn't ask me to do this video. I simply wanted to, wanted to do it just because, um, like I was just so happy with everything. Um, it's the least I can do to, to thank the boys. So thanks boys. As you say over there, cheer and, uh, see you on the next one.